So you want to play Fantasy Star online, online? Well, whether you're a new PSO player or a veteran who wants to dust off an old save file, connecting your GameCube or Wii to a private server couldn't be easier. In this video, I'll show you how to connect your Wii. Official servers shut down in April 2007, so now I use a private server known as ShitServe. It's free to use and supports all the original versions of Fantasy Star Online. There are a few more steps to connecting online via Wii, but if this is your first time playing PSO, this is definitely a cheaper option. All you'll need is a copy of PSO, an SD card, and a Nintendo Wii. On release, all Wii consoles came with GameCube backwards compatibility as standard. However, the feature was eventually removed, meaning not all Wiis can play GameCube games. Make sure your system has these controller and memory card inputs to ensure your Wii is GameCube ready. Now, despite being an online console, the Wii does not support online functionality for GameCube games. This is due to programming differences between a console with a modem and one without. To bypass this issue and make PSO playable online again, you'll need to install the homebrew channel and two specific software, CleanRip and Devolution. Step 1. Check your Wii firmware. Start by connecting your Wii to the Wi-Fi router as normal. When navigating the main Wii settings menu, you'll see the system's firmware code in the top right corner. Note this code down. Then select the internet settings, followed by console information. Here, you'll find the system's MAC address. Note down this 12-digit number as well and move over to your PC. Step 2. Downloading the homebrew channel. Head to a website called please.hackme.com. This is where you'll acquire the homebrew install files. Click the icon which matches the firmware number of your system, then enter the console's MAC address. Hackme will ask if you want to cut the red wire or the blue wire. It doesn't matter which you choose, but once you have chosen, your homebrew setup will begin downloading. This is named Letterbomb. This will be clear why soon. Extract the Letterbomb folder and copy its contents to an SD card. Step 3. Acquiring homebrew apps. Visit these two web pages. Links are in the description below. These will allow you to download the homebrew apps CleanRip and Devolution. CleanRip is a program used to copy the full contents of a GameCube disk you own to an SD card. Devolution is software which allows you to run those ripped files from the SD card and play the games. The reason you'll use Devolution is because it creates a bridge between Fantasy Star Online's need for a modem adapter and the Wii's built-in internet functionality, which is how you'll be able to connect online. As mentioned earlier, the Wii itself does not support online play for GameCube games, but with Devolution, it can. Once you've downloaded these apps, extract the folders, access your SD card and place the extracted folders into a new folder labelled Apps. You're now ready to install these files onto your Wii. Eject the SD card and reinsert it into the console, as well as inserting your copy of PSO. Once loaded up, check the Wii message pages for a red letter bomb. This could arrive in yesterday's, today's or tomorrow's message page. Opening the letter bomb will initiate the homebrew channel installer, so don't be alarmed by the sudden change in user interface. Press continue and select homebrew channel to begin installation. This should only take a few seconds. You can use this letter bomb program again if you want to uninstall the channel in future. Exiting the installer will load up the homebrew channel. If done correctly, you should see the two apps downloaded before waiting for you. Step 4. Ripping the game. Select and load the Clean Rip app. Press A to mount your SD card, confirm through the menus until asked if you want to rip the game disc, and press A. The ripping process can take some time, but once complete, switch off your Wii, remove the SD card, and return to your PC. Step 5. Devolution Verification with your SD card inserted into your PC, you'll see the ripped games sitting on the surface of your SD card explorer. Move these files into a folder labelled Games. The folder is needed for Devolution to locate and recognise the game files. After copying, eject the SD card and take it back to your Wii. Load the homebrew channel, this time opening Devolution. Your Fantasy Star Online disc should still be inserted at this point. Devolution will present you with a menu asking you to mount a USB drive or SD card. 
press Y to use the SD card and select the PSO file. Devolution will now attempt to verify your ripped game file with the original disc. This process can take several minutes, so be patient. Once verification is successful, your Wii will flash blue five times and the game will load. This verification process is only necessary the first time you load a ripped game file, so you won't need the PSO disc again for playing on Wii. From now on, you can simply load Devolution and play the game from the SD card. Now the game is verified, you're finally ready to start connecting online. Step 6. Create a ShitServe account and Hunter's license. Create a login on shitserve.com, then you'll need to create a Hunter's license. Visit the MyHL page and click the GameCube icon. Originally, your Hunter's license was the subscription you bought from Sega to access their servers. Using an access key and a serial code, the server would verify you as a unique and legitimate player. PSO still requires a Hunter's License access key and game serial code when connecting online. For the original server, you needed to use the serial code printed on the back of the PSO manual, but ShitServe lets you create your own in case your manual is missing. And as Sega is no longer generating Hunter's License access keys, you create this number yourself too. Just enter any arrangement of numbers so long as it's unique to you. Entering these codes in-game is what will grant you access to the shit server. Once you've created these numbers, make a note of them and keep them alongside your copy of PSO. Step 7. Entering Network Information From the PSO title screen, go to Options, then Network Options, and select Provider Options to edit the connection settings. If this is your first time connecting, you'll need to save a network file to your memory card and load it. If you have previous connection data, you can simply load that network file instead. Following this, open the network setup page. Here you can choose the provider options you wish to change by selecting edit. You can change the name of your provider here, but that's optional and won't affect your connection. On the next page, your modem settings should reflect the country you're in, with dial set to tone and line timeout at 99 minutes. Next, you'll set your ISP settings. Start by entering the user ID Devo for devolution. The password is GC in lower case. For ShitServe, enter zero in phone number one. Click next to enter the IP info using ShitServe's IP addresses. These can be found on the ShitServe's website homepage at any time. Copy them into your game. The settings for proxy ports are optional, although you may need to set one if required by your internet service provider. If you have trouble connecting, revisit this page and check your router for proxy settings. Once you've saved all these settings, return to the title screen, choose online from the main menu and select your character. Step 8. Entering your Hunter's License information After your character has loaded, your Wii will connect online and ask for your Hunter's License information to join ShitServe. So grab the access key and serial code you wrote down before and enter them exactly. Once you've entered your Hunter's license numbers and your password to your ShitServe account, you'll be connected to the server. And there you have it. This connection shouldn't take more than a few seconds. As ShitServe is a private server running as a non-profit community, connection is completely free and legal. I hope you found this how-to guide helpful. If you have any issues connecting, contact the ShitServe forums or Discord page for more advice. Thanks for watching.